Hey guys, Tara here from Recovering Book Quarter. Today is day eight of Vlogmas. So I'm attempting to do something different today. I'm going to attempt to show my very first journal that I ever did. I've never taped this way before. Um, I've been playing around with it, hoping that I have settings correct. So we shall see. Um, but this is the very first journal that I ever did. And I'm calling this evolution of a journal because from what I started and what my intent with it was to where it went is just 180 degree turn. So um, it's not the fanciest of journals. Um, I'm creative, but not in a perfect kind of way. Like I see on a lot of, I mean, believe me, I love, I love watching people's journal flip throughs and I'm always so jealous, but mine's not quite like that. <laughs> so, um, this is a Loistrum and I love Loistrum so much. Um, this was a sticker I had gotten from Michael's, <clears throat> just a puffy sticker I found there. Then on the sides I have, um, this was pulled out of a card. And then this was a ribbon from a baby shower. I'm not sh I feel like this might've been from my niece's gender reveal. Um, and I had chosen girl and that's why I have a pink one. It also could have been from somebody's baby shower that I have in here. Um, so I have those on the side. And as I go, I'll tell you things that I, I enjoyed about this, products I liked, products I didn't. Um, I always like whenever people have things sticking out of their journals. So here's my top, it's pretty thick here. And all right. Okay, so as we go through, there'll occasionally be things covered up that are more private and I don't want everybody to be able to see. So this is just that beginning cover page and I like ephemera. Um, so I've got some stamps I had saved, um, some stuff from Germany. This was when my sister-in-law sent us a card in the mail. This is no longer their address. So, um, but a German stamp, uh, some stuff I got in a, um, in a subscription box run fair tickets from when my daughter and I went to the run fair from the inside of a car my mommy gave me <clears throat> and yeah this was from purpose driven essentials um subscription box that I had gotten and so this when I started this the intent was for it to be a health tracker and then I added on spiritual health and physical health so you'll see what that looks like Okay, then I just put a picture from my niece Ava's um, baptism here at the front. And then a label from um, some chocolate milk we had gotten from a local dairy farm. And we have, let your roots grow down into Christ and draw up nourishment from him, Colossians 2.7. And then here we have um, Nurture Your Mind with Great Thoughts. I thought that was fitting. I love washi tape. You'll see lots of washi tape in here. Um, then we have the index. I do utilize my indexes. Ind indices. and yeah. I do utilize the index of mine. So I have everything written out um, in the index. And you'll see, you can see this green through here. Um, this was before I had come across the pens that I really like, which is the Staedtler um, pigment fine liners, which is what I've come to use and refuse to use anything else. And this is why, because I had experimented with another pen. I think this is called Le Pen. And it eventually, even though it was black, it turned green and really had bad ghosting, even though, as you can see, it was written in black. So really upset by that. Um, nothing I can do about it now, but you'll see that throughout this journal, and that's why I just stick with the staters. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. 
Okay, if I've got anything that I get in the mail that has stickers or anything like that, or my daughter has, I always usually throw into my journals. Light a glare. Okay, so <clears throat> over here, this was my first kind of tracker that I did, and this was a sleep, just a general sleep tracker here. Um, dates on this side, so you can see I started this on the 19th of February. Uh, this is from 2018, I believe, um, and then just was tracking my sleep. Okay, so this is how I did my initial layouts, and you'll see that this changes so much as we go on. So initially I was tracking, I've got the date, my weight for that day, what time I broke my fast because I was doing some intermittent fasting. The last time I ate that day, um... I was really big into using essential oils every day, and I wanted to track that to see how they affected how I felt each day. And so this was the initial way I was tracking it. Um, and that was, so I have oils used, topical, diffused, or ingested. I know that there's a lot of controversy over ingesting oils. Um, so just won't talk about that. <laughs> uh, if I took them in the morning or the afternoon, then I had my supplements or medications for that day, um, the amount of water I drank. I wanted to track my morning devotion time. Um, so I had the Bible, uh, Bible chapters I read that day along with whatever uh, biblical type of book I was reading. And then um, exercise type and duration, which you'll see I don't exercise. <laughs> I kept putting it in here thinking, maybe I will one day. And then the food that I ate um, was going to track calories too. You'll see that that didn't go very well. And you'll also see that um, as someone trying to lose weight, I really was eating pretty horribly. And my weight loss reflects that. <laughs> so um, also went through... After I was done with stuff, once I decided I like stickers, I went through and started adding stickers into my spreads too. So this was my initial way of doing my dailies. Some days I would set these up at the beginning of the week. Um, and then some days I wouldn't write anything. So the only thing I have recorded here was my weight, my morning devotion, and my coffee and creamer. So not every day is successful with journaling, but keep on going. Okay, then I started um, occasionally writing different things from my morning devotionals in here. So like here, I have um, biblical application. God only acts when asked directly, and if asked directly, follows through every time. So you'll start seeing little things like that in here. Again, some days I was much more successful with recording than other days. Um, here I was keeping any kind of mail that I got. Uh, so... That was like fun mail, obviously, not bills, but like, this is a thank you card that my mom had written from when she retired. And I love looking back at this stuff. If somebody took the time to write me something and put it in the mail, you can bet I'm going to keep it forever and ever. Um, here I was actually, look at this. I was successful with some of my exercise today. I played around in the basement gym in my brother's house for 10 whole minutes. Um ate a bunch of cookies, so it wasn't great, but yeah, so, okay, there's that. Then I decided I was going to start writing other things that um, spoke to me, so here I decided I needed to list out the Ten Commandments, and then um, have this quote, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt out of the land of slavery. All right, so then we get into, this would have been March, and again, I have my sleep tracker, um, 
And then over here, I decided I needed to start tracking my period because like, as you can see in this month, I did not get it at all. Um, it was real erratic. So that's totally TMI for you guys, but um, definitely needed to start tracking so I could communicate that information to my doctor. Then I also put things down here that would have affected. So like on 311, the clocks moved ahead. Um, I took a nap on 318, which I wasn't able to have, like, leave myself space to record at that time. Me being sick, and then over here my daughter was sick, and so that interrupted sleep patterns. So that kind of stuff I made sure I recorded. Okay, so here um, I decided to start drawing boxes to make things look a little bit neater. Um, I probably saw it on somebody's video, and that's why I started doing it. So up here, I started putting my oils. I just listed them and then put in parentheses um, if it was morning, what the application was, that kind of thing. And then I have boxes now for my food out of that and then the morning devotion. And it looks a little bit more uniform. And again, I was still doing, I think I was setting up the whole month at this point. So I think for the most part, the month will look the same. Threw in the stickers after the fact because I thought things looked too boring. Um, writing out more quotes from my morning Bible time. Trying to figure out how to use washi. I mean, this was really a trial and error from my very beginning. Um, then I also, for the first time, wrote out some things that happened that day. So, like, we had gone to a health show, went to the movies and saw Wrinkle in Time, living room demo started, and we ate at Red Robin. So, learning how to use this more for my day, but you'll see that that doesn't pick up again for a while. Um, so, at that point, I was just kind of putting when things were different than normal. For anybody that's looking to change their diet, health, all that stuff, you can clearly see by here that it was not going well. Um, however, let this be a lesson that this all can change because I did, like this was my day to day, I just kept going. I have lost 75 pounds, some of that is because of diabetes. Um, and now my diet is better than ever, again because of diabetes, but it just shows that people can't change. I mean, those habits that we have that are ingrained in us. Love this. If you wait for perfect conditions, you'll never get anything done. Isn't that the truth? Um, started writing things from the books that I was reading each morning on top of the Bible. So like God is more interested in why we do something than in what we do. Then some things that I just was thinking that day also, like God oh, help me to know what you help me to do what you're blessing. So like not just doing everything I want, but trying to recognize those things that God wants me to do and that he's actually giving his blessing to. St. Patrick's Day, myself a little note so that I knew that. started playing around with some different kind of lettering. Uh, my writing in this, other than like these kind of things, I sort of like that. I hate this. Unsuccessful day of recording. Um, recorded some additional things. So here, Cassidy took communion for the first time at our church. Um, I think I missed where a few sections ago is whenever we said, read the um, salvation prayer together. So that was a pretty big day for us and our family. And here I started recording here some more stuff that we did that night, that day. Okay, here um, I did one of those send away um, sensitivity, food sensitivity tests. 
So I wanted to make sure that I recorded those results. So I have, um, I have listed it out into high to mild reactivity foods and then foods I can eat without issue. And then um, I put asterisks next to things I don't like so I don't eat them anyway. And then check marks next to things that I eliminated. Um, and then over here were foods I can eat without issue. And then I highlighted the things that the, um, I knew that I liked so I could refer back and make sure that I was pulling from foods that worked for me. Okay, then this is, if you've ever seen, I think it's called Life 9 or something like that, where there's like nine different traits that you look at in your life and judge where you're at and what you need to work on. So I took that and I did it with the Fruits of the Spirit and kind of scored myself on where I felt... I was in each of those fruits of the spirit. So as you can see, there were things I was really bad at, like patience and gentleness and some stuff I felt like I was doing okay with, um, such as kindness or faithfulness. And I used this to determine what I really, really needed to work on. So in my 2019 journal, um, I decided I was really going to focus on improving the gentleness. I think gentleness, I can't remember if gentleness or patience was my word for that year. Um, and that was then my focus. And then I kind of wrote out the fruits of the spirit over here and what each of those means, how I, what I can use to gauge those things. I do plan on doing this in my 2021 bullet journal along with the life nine. I want to call it life nine. That could be totally wrong. And then we move into March. And so again, with the sleep tracker, I did sleep these days. I have no idea why I didn't track them, but who knows? Finally got my period. Okay. Then I decided to try something different with tracking my oils and supplements. So I did a whole month here. This is the supplements I wanted to take and my medication. And then I took and listed out every single essential oil I had in my collection and then tracked when I did it, how I, let me see, I think I just tracked when I did it and then at what time of day I did it, if it was morning or evening and did it that way. And I had so many, still do, in my collection. It took up so many pages. Didn't love this setup either. Just couldn't figure out any other way to do it that was functional. Okay, so there's March. All right. Here we get into April. Did I say we were in March over here? What did I say? I said March. This is actually April spreads. So... All right, again, added some more boxes now because I decided I wanted to do things a little bit different. I got rid of the oil thing and the medication that was all up front. So still had my weight, what time I broke my fast, ate last, the water, my food, my morning devotional, which for the spirit I was working on that day, what I was currently reading, and then memories from that day as well. I started tracking because I really liked that. And to be honest, I really love going back and seeing what happened that day. I can't tell you how much stuff I forget. So it's nice being able to look back. Um, again, playing around with stickers and washi tape. Um, wanted to list two whenever I had answered prayers. Um, and so this was a really big day that I, I literally cried out to God this day. Um, during work, I was at a school with a client and another child came into the lunchroom and it, 
it was so bad. And I just realized I, it was so mentally draining what I was doing. I couldn't do it anymore. And I saw absolutely no way out. And I just prayed. I prayed to God for a way out and to help. And you'll see that a couple weeks later that actually happened in a way I had never anticipated. Um, if I didn't read anything that day, it would be blank. Um, and here my daughter was actually diagnosed on the autism spectrum and we had to sit down and explain it to her. Um, so anybody that goes through that, for anyone who has a daughter who's a level one autism, there is a book, it's called I Am an Aspie Girl. And it was just so perfect. And that's how we told her, we read that to her. It really explains it so nicely. Um, so I highly recommend that if that's an experience that you end up having to do. Started kind of decorating more for important things. So like this was my birthday, I turned 37 this day. Ah, okay, so here <laughs> I got a picture printer. Um, I'll link down below what it was. I actually, I really, really loved the picture printer. Ultimately, the problem with it ended up being an issue with the way it fed, and I would end up losing money. I, the, the quality was great, and I keep hoping that they'll improve it. Eventually, it, it, it did stop working, but so I got this picture printer and I ended up going in and printing out pictures way after the fact. So you'll see that they're in here like covering things because I had to put them in. I never planned on putting in pictures. So the writing is underneath. But I really, really loved adding the pictures and that's something that I have continued doing. So you'll see there's like a lot of space in between. Um pictures at this point because I was going backwards. Okay, then I was reading the book The Excellent Wife by Elizabeth George. I'll put the picture up here. I'm pretty sure it's Elizabeth George. And so different things that they talked about in there I wanted to make sure that I kept track of. It was a really, really good book. So here's a list of all the things The Excellent Wife is. Um, these markers that I used here are the Tombow brush pens. And then playing around with flattering again with one of the quotes. It's okay. I don't love it. One of my goals for 2021 is going to be how to learn hand lettering because it is just not a skill I have that I'm good at right now. All right, so here's my sleep tracker and period tracker for May. Um, I started calculating how many hours I slept and writing it in the middle just so that it was easier for me to know. Then I did the exact same setup for my supplements and oils. Still haven't figured out another way to do them. So it takes up tons of space. All right. I liked the setup from the previous month with the, with everything I was keeping track of and I continued with that started writing out a lot more quotes because a lot of things were speaking to me at that point. And it's great when that happens. Okay, here I started figuring out how to include more pictures in like a waterfall kind of thing. This is not how I do it anymore. I don't love the way I was doing it here, but um started consciously taking pictures of like things we were doing. So this was from a date night, our food. We went to a restaurant where my cousin was a chef. And so this is stuff that he had made for us. It was excellent too. 
keeping track of more that was happening each day in my memory section. Um, this was Mother's Day, I believe. So this was a card for my daughter. I had just cut out the inside and then this is our Mother's Day tea at church, that's right. And then put um, a picture from the tea on the back side there. Her friend had gone with us. And then this is pictures from our, well, this picture here goes with this page. And this was my husband had taken her shopping and she got her first pair of semi-heeled shoes. So that's a picture of that. And then this was from our Mother's Day dinner at the Japanese steakhouse. So this actually goes with this page. And then this was um, from a card that my mom had given me for Mother's Day. And a gift for my daughter for Mother's Day. And then more pictures from our, from our Mother's Day meal at the Japanese steakhouse. I love going back and looking at the pictures. The pictures are so fun. more pictures my cousin was in and this was a um they had taught her how to finger crochet and so here's a picture of her finger crocheting and then the belt she made for my cousin them visiting um this was the first time she had met my niece Ava and so I love looking at these love these pictures okay this was from a blanket that was given to my daughter. Um, she, my daughter has, she doesn't anymore, but she used to have severe, severe meltdowns, experienced a lot of anxiety, um, had issues in school with bullying, and um, a woman from church worked with this organization where they make blankets and pray over them for comfort for the person. So this was actually from that prayer blanket that they gifted to her and exactly what it is, which was just such a wonderful, wonderful gift. So thoughtful. Okay, here we went up to my camp and um, these were my camps in Punxsutawney, which for anybody that doesn't know, that is the weather capital of the world. It is where the Groundhog Punks of Tawny Phil lives. Um, if you have seen the movie Groundhog Day, it's where that movie takes place. And so the groundhog is pretty big. And I found these really cool postcards at the one restaurant we go to all the time up there. And then put some pictures of my daughter in. Because even though, uh, listen, I've been going up there since I was a baby. We go up several times a year. And we still do all these, like, touristy things. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, she, our friend Bonnie, who went with us, bought her this groundhog cap. So that's her in the groundhog cap. And another postcard. Lots of quotes speaking to me from my Bible and my readings. And we have pictures. This is in my camp. This is the whole group of us that were there. Um, Cass and my dad went fishing at Clow Lake, which is a local lake that they keep stocked. And then... Uh, Cass was out making lots of big bubbles. Beautiful, beautiful day that day. This is a local meat um, butcher that we go to called Biggie's, which has the best meat. And so here was my receipt from that day also. And over here I've got a lot. Um, so we did went and did some um, target practice. And my mom made origami, so I've got that here, what my mom made. Um... Went to a bakery up there, a newer bakery for the first time, so I've got that receipt. And then some of the game scorecards from a game that we were playing. Okay, then um, one day I found this paper in my daughter's book bag from when she had to clean out her desk. And this is just the cutest thing. So it says, all about mommy. I love my mommy. She is so nice to me. I love her so much. I like to cuddle with her. 
I love to read with her every day. I love to paint with her as well. I just thought that was so cute. These are the kind of things that like, you just have to keep forever because you always want to refer back to them. You know, once your kid's like a teenager and stuff and they don't like you anymore. Um, and this was just a random picture I found in her book bag when she cleaned out her desk. So, capture that. Then I ordered, so I had gotten a promotion at work. That was how I got out of um, the field. And as a reward to myself, I bought an Erin Condren planner, which didn't end up working out, but I was really excited about it at the time. So this is from there. Spending the day with my niece, some cute pictures of her. Uh, this quote from Psalm really stuck with me, which is why... I wrote it. So search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxious thoughts and see if there be any hurtful way in me in the everlasting way. Then wrote about putting on love and ways that I could apply that to my life. So, for example, love is patient. Ways I can apply that to my life. Memorize scripture and quote it to myself as I begin to lose my patience. Thank God for specific irritants. Say to myself, love is patient. Confess while impatience is mental instead of waiting till I outwardly sin. So I went through and did that with all of those quotes from, I think it's from Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, the love is patient, love is kind. Scripture. I really liked looking back at this and, um, some of this I still even several years later continued to do and forgot where I had, where and why I had started it. Did this heart here hate, hate, hate how it turned out? Uh, if I were going back and doing this, I would totally use a sticker so that it was much more even. But hindsight 2020. All right, biblical principles of a wife's submission, which people see the word submit and think that that's a really bad thing. But whenever you read about it more, it is not, it's not what people commonly think it is. So anyway, um, like I said, my daughter used to have severe meltdowns. So I decided to start tracking those um, for whenever we would go to some of her appointments. And yeah, some of them were really bad. So I would keep track of what the meltdown was about and then how long it lasted. She also started getting therapy, I think, around this time. And so we really needed to track whether or not it was working. And one of her goals was to reduce the intensity and length of her meltdowns. Then I went into list. She had said something really cute. So I did a Lessons from Cassidy and then the quote with it here. And I end up, I don't put anything else on this page, but I do an do another page that's more full. All right, in June, decided to change how I was tracking my sleep. Um, so I just did a table instead. So I've got the date, bedtime, the time I was awake, if I took a nap, and then the total amount of time slept, including nighttime sleep and napping. I've always had some pretty significant health issues, and sometimes I would get what's called flares. Um, and you can usually see when I'm flaring because the naps go way up because I'm just so exhausted. Okay, then I started keeping track of my period here. I was diagnosed with lupus at one time. I've since had a doctor tell me that he believes that was a mistaken diagnosis and it was other things, so many health issues. So I was keeping track when I was having those flares, which dates I felt like I was flaring and then started doing my meds and supplements this way. Kept track of my weight over here each day. And you can see now that I have lost. So when I started, let's see, at the beginning here, I was 91.8. Day one, I weighed in at 291.8 up there. And you can see over here, by the end of, um, which month is this? By the end of June? By the end of June, I was at 278.8. So, something was working. Um, okay, keeping track of my water here and 
the time I broke my fast and the time that I ate last each day over there. Switched the oils, decided to start, instead of having that giant list and half of them that I never use, I put the, I figured out which oils I was using all the time and listed them and then still did the AM, PM. And then if I added something in for some reason, it wasn't in my all time list, I just added it at the bottom. Okay, over here, more ephemera. Um, so thank you card from my cousin. It was his graduation, so I got the thank you card, his graduation announcement, and the invitation from the um, from his graduation party. Put all that there and just keep it clippy together with a cute paper clip. I really like these paper clips. I think I had gotten a planner um, box at one point and they were in there. Okay, so that again, since I started putting all that other stuff up front, I decided I would take a whole day. I started putting the, used these to list what I was reading in the Bible and my morning like devotion kind of stuff. Quotes from that day and then space to write what happened. And not just, before I was doing more like list style. And here I'm actually doing like an entry of what happened that day. Again, more pictures. Um, this is from, over here I went to a baby shower and then we have the thank you card from the baby shower also here. Let's see, I did the thank you card and then the invitation for the baby shower and then pictures from the baby shower on the back. Um, this was the most beautiful baby shower. It was so nice. Got to sit with my friend Val, it was fun. I just always think if people are taking the time to get things like this printed out, I want to keep them. This was a birthday card for my daughter. This is her birthday here. So I started using other things. This was a um, birth announcement for my nephew, Henry, that came over from Germany. So I just kept this stored in here because I didn't want to cut it up. And it was the whole thing. Like, look how pretty this is. Had a written on there and then all these cute pictures so there's no way to like get it in there nice so I kept it in here reutilizing envelopes and then I also use this is where from the begin when I showed you guys at the beginning this piece here from the card I used that to keep this stuff in here instead of gluing it in so every year I do a birthday interview with Cass same exact questions each year. So this is the birthday interview for that year. So I printed it out and then wrote her answers in there. So just cute things to look back at. Then we have pictures from her birthday party, some wrapping paper from one of her gifts, the back of that envelope, and recording of everything that happened at her birthday. We were looking for, we were remodeling our living room and looking for furniture. So this was the sectional I fell in love with. At this point, I didn't think we were going to be able to get it. But I had taken a picture of it and we did end up getting this sectional. Okay, this is the day that we actually went and celebrated her birthday with one of her friends. And this is the stuff that we did. So we started the day at Starbucks, um, went and got pedicures. And these are all of our toes after the pedicure. Went to Olive Garden. Saw Solo, a Star Wars movie. And then a picture of her and her friend Shelby at the movie theater. And then this was from a gift that Shelby had gotten her. And so in here, I put the receipts from the day. And then some additional pictures that I couldn't fit into the spread and just kept it shut with this. I love finding things that I can repurpose for use in journals and just kept it in with some washi tape. Then I started 
outlining the quotes to keep them like easily separated from the day's memories. Started buying more stickers. So I was purposely using my stickers then. And you can see this is where I started using that new pen and I got lots of green, which ugh, I'm so mad about that. Then here was from a wedding that we went to. So I kept everything. Um, this was the table. Oh no, I'm sorry, this was the bridal shower. So here was the, the table marker. Um, I think this was on, this part under here was on a, the gift, the invitation to, or no, the thank you card for the shower and then the invitation to the shower down there. Then that same day was my cousin Lena's graduation party. And so that was the um, invitation for her graduation party. Then on the back, I put pictures from the party. Then I had found these cute little envelope kind of things here and used those to put additional pictures from the day in up here as well. Um, yeah, what was this from? I think. Oh, this was for, oh, that's right. My husband and daughter did a date for, for Father's Day. And so we went to Red Lobster for the first time. Then I went and hung out with my niece and brother. Happy first Father's Day, onesie. That's them on his first Father's Day. So put those in this cute little envelope here. Then this was from a, this was from a book that I had been given and I ended up cutting out pieces of the book to use in journaling. And this was one of the quotes that I liked the stuff on both sides. So threw that in there. Ooh, whoops, lost some stickers. So here's lost pictures, more picture, another picture envelope. A um, little bit of a different setup with that one. And this was my grandfather's 88th birthday party that we went over to his house and celebrated. And this, this is a funny story here. We were um, cleaning upstairs in my daughter's room and she had told me previously that she had cut the hair off of her Barbie dolls. Um, and that day she gave me a lunchbox and it was full of all of the Barbie dolls hair. And she said she had put it there because she hoped I would never find it. <laughs> but I guess it had been long enough between the, instant, the act of cutting off the hair and us cleaning that she felt safe to give it to me at that point. I just thought it was funny. Uh, nails, like how that was. Okay, then we've got, this was from um, my friend Val's baby shower. And again, it was an absolutely beautiful baby shower. So this was an envelope and I think in here I put pictures. Yeah, pictures from the baby shower in there. Okay, them. my table place card and I think our gifts must have been champagne or lo like little personal champagne things or wine things. So this is the tag that was on there. This was when my nephew Henry came to visit from Germany. But this is our first time meeting him. And again, more pictures in this little envelope here. This was, we were back up at camp and found yet another new bakery. It was in an old church. And so this was their, um, their brochure here. And then put pictures from fishing in here, accordion style. Um, I was having some issues with, I just felt like my husband didn't love me at this point. So I decided, I knew that wasn't true logically. You know how like you're having mental health issues. It's really hard to see things like 
the real reality. So I started tracking each day the things that he does that show me that he loves me. This was really nice to look back on, actually. And then again with Cassie's Meltdown Tracker, um, I didn't leave myself enough space. And so this continues later on in the spread for June. This was our summer theme song for my daughter and I, Running Down a Dream by Tom Petty. So I have that written out. Okay, then I had found this that I had done on Facebook. It was um, questions to know your child's heart. And these were the answers from June 2015. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This was, oh, this is a different one. This is questions about your mom. So this is what she answered in 2015. And then this is how she answered in 2018 on the exact same day. Tracking out my lupus symptoms exactly what they were each day. Oh, June was a, this June was just a really, really bad month. Can you, so you can also see how like my poor health was adding to my mental health issues and then also adding to feelings of not being loved and, and worthlessness. It all goes together. Okay, so this is where I kept track of some more quotes from my daughter. They're just so cute to go back and read. Psalm 23, really needed that at this point. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I had had a nightmare, and so I wrote that out there. Okay, here's the questions to know your child's heart. I just thought this was really cute. I love doing these like little interviews with my daughter. It's just really, like really, really cool to go back and look at her answers later on. These, I decided, I had been thinking about like parenting goals, and so these were ultimate parenting goals I have. Um, Cassie will love and respect the Lord above everything else in her life. Cassie will be respectful, nice to, and accepting of others. Cassie will be a productive, functional member of society. And Cassie will accept and embrace the person she is and use her God-given talents to make a difference in the world. And I still stand by all those goals. Those are still my parenting goals. These were some self-care ideas that I found from leancleanandbree.com. Okay, this is where I continue because I have enough space on how I know my husband loves me and lupus symptoms. Okay, then we into July, tracking my sleep the same way, period, medications and supplements, and my weight every day. Water, broke fast last eight. Lupus flares, you can see I had a much better July than I did in June. Um, although you can see I was still experiencing symptoms all throughout the month. And then my oils. Okay, so we were up at the camp for 4th of July and we went to the Groundhog Festival. That's what this is, Cassie's face is painted and the little Groundhog Festival sign there. Um, the big chair, this is when we went and bought our sectional, so the big chair at McKinney's, <laughs> and then, uh, she had wanted a Fin Fun Mermaid tale so bad, so my mom had made a deal with her that if she read at her house each day, because Cassidy has dyslexia, and so reading was really hard for her for a really long time, um, and it was not something she enjoyed doing, but something she needed to practice. So my mom had made a deal with her for each day that she read, she would earn money towards a Fin Fun Mermaid tale, and then my mom would pay for the other half of it. So this is the day she got it, and oh, she was so excited. And you can see here I had issues with 
even this pen even like copied onto here so yeah uh this was the packing list from my purpose driven essentials crate that i got and then some of the um small businesses that had products included stopped using those little um book looking stickers and instead was writing the what i did that day up on the top of the page freedom because of the cross that was on july 4th i put that I liked this. To faithfully follow God face forward, accept your circumstances. If your circumstances find you in God's will, you will find God in all your circumstances. Trust in the Lord and hope for the future. That was from Real Women of the Bible. Some more pictures over here. Spending the day with my niece. My writing has changed so much I feel like like this kind of stuff is still the same but this is not what my cursive looks like anymore and I always do my I should say I always do like the day my memories and stuff my journal entry is always in cursive and then like quotes that I take from other places um, I always do in just regular printing At this point, I was still dedicating a full page to each day. Eventually, I found that that didn't always work, and so I've since changed that in my more current ones. Um, I like much more how I'm using stickers at this point than I was at the beginning. Um, so I got some free stuff from Young Living. I had been a member for a set amount of time. I can't remember how long that was. Another day with my niece. This was, um, the kids were doing something with, I think after a vacation Bible school. And so this is Cassidy up with our friend Bonnie, who she just absolutely adores. Hear a lot more journaling as opposed to quotes. Uh, this was the planner subscription box I got. I think I only got it once. Sunsets and planners. Planner addict box was what it was called. I think that's where those um, those paper clips I showed you guys came from. was Cassidy and my mom ran into one of my best friends Melissa her son her and her son Nick up at Walmart so they sent me that picture to show me hey guess who we saw um went to see the movie Mamma Mia here we go again which I cried through literally like the entire movie I just something happened at the beginning you were uh, in case I don't want to do a spoiler in case people haven't seen it and want to um but you discover a piece of information in the beginning that I just was not in any way prepared for, and it made me cry through the entire movie, <laughs> which uh, the people I saw it with thought I was insane. Um, then just a picture, it's my favorite way to spend the morning with that mug that my daughter got me for Mother's Day and then my Bible. Uh, my husband took my daughter to Kennywood and they met some friends up there. This washi tape was from that planner attic box too. Some more pictures, then put underneath them what they were from. My mom had got my daughter a swing for her birthday outside their house. And so this is pictures of them on the swing together. I'm sorry for that glare. Oh, I have found a cook. I went to the half price books clearance sale, which is just the best sale. It's in the warehouse and everything is $2. And I was looking for some specific books 
and one of them was the um, Mitford cookbook and kitchen reader. I wanted it so bad. So they have a whole section of cookbooks. Nothing is organized at all other than like, here's the section. So it's like cookbooks, craft stuff, everything. And I pray, Lord, if it's here, please let it jump out at me. And it literally did. So super excited. That was my buy of the day. So I took a picture of that. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorite pictures of Cassidy and my niece. I love it. Um, then we were remodeling my daughter's room, and so these were the paint samples here that we ended up using. Um, did a Harry Potter theme, so she has a whole floor to herself. It's like a converted attic that separated out into like three rooms, so we did rooms for each house. Our meltdown tracker for the month. Things were getting a lot better. A lot more days of no meltdowns. And when she was having them, they weren't lasting as long, which was great. Therapy is so helpful. I recommend it for everybody. Well, again, another month of the way how I know my husband loves me from each day. You live your life in God's constant and powerful presence. Above you are God's overshadowing wings. Beneath you are God's everlasting arms. Around you, the angel of the Lord encamps on all sides to deliver you. And inside you, God's peace that passes all understanding guards your heart and mind. Elizabeth George. I did the mid-year book freakout tag. This was prior to me having a booktube channel, so it was just for in here. I got this. For, this is from one of the Happy Planner sticker books. Let's get lost and I wrote in a book down here. Some lessons from Rebecca from Elizabeth George's um, Women of the Bible book. Decisions must be guided by God's word. Problems must be prayed over. Marriages must be worked at. Children must be raised without favoritism and God must be trusted at all times. If you can't tell, I really, really liked that book. Um, then I have a 30 day song challenge I had gotten, I think somebody had posted it on Facebook at the time. So I put the prompt and then what my answers were for each of them. And my life in books tag. Is prayer your steering wheel or your spare tire? Corey Ten Boom. Corey Ten Boom's amazing. Highly recommend her books. And that is it. Let's see, back here I have the thing from the Purpose Driven Essentials that came in it. And this was from my daughter with getting a little passports, and this was the one from Israel. And um, we are Ashkenazi Jewish um, in my family. And so I do still... I do identify with my Jewish side also. I loved that she got that. So put that in there. And that is the end. So that is the evolution of this journal. From where it started to where it went to completely different places. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, I plan on doing some more of these in the future with more recent journals. And yeah, let me know your thoughts.